Hey guys, welcome back to another sneaky tips video. Um, so today I have 10 sneaky Jewgesser tips that might uh, secure you that victory you need. So, um, this video is mostly aimed at people who have already played Jewgesser for a while, who kind of know the ropes, and um, are just looking for a few more little bits of information that might uh, improve their gameplay and and get them a better score. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so the first tip I have for you are about phone number area codes. So as you can see here, this is Brazil. And in Brazil, you can often use mobile area codes to identify the region of the country you are in. They are mostly two digit codes and they often appear in brackets. Um, so here we have a 62. So there is a map that illustrates the codes. So uh, let's go and look at that map. So as you can see here, this is a map of all the Brazilian area codes. 62 should be Goiania. So let's look back at the map. Let's go into the map and guess Goiania. Good. So on to the next round. So the next tip I have for you are these cards with very Austrian looking flags that you often see in Portugal. Um, so they are obviously not Austrian flags, they just um, look like it, and you tend to find them everywhere in rural parts of Portugal. You can see here, there's some here, there's one. Um, you often find them near farm, farmy kind of areas, farmland. This should be Portugal, so let's go into the map. Good, on to the next round. So the next tip I have is about this cabbage that you tend to see in two countries, Russia and Japan, and more specifically, the regions of Sakhalin, this island here, in Russia, and Hokkaido, this island in Japan. So this cabbage tends to grow in those two areas. Um, obviously this looks like Russia, so this should be in Sakhalin, and it tends to be more in the southern part of Sakhalin. I think it's too cold in the north to, to grow this cabbage, so um, yeah. If you see this cabbage, you might be in Sakhalin or Hokkaido. Um, so it can be a very nice wet, nice way to get a very good Russian score if you see this cabbage. So Good, on to the next tip. So the next tip is about these dashed lines. So a lot of people know that um, you see dashed lines often in Sweden, Norway, France, among other countries, but um, one overlooked country that you see them is Romania. So you often see these dash lines in Romania. So if you think you're in a kind of maybe Eastern European or kind of Balkan country and you see, see these dashes, it could be in Romania. So uh, let's go for Romania. Okay, so the next tip I have for you uh, is about license plates in some countries. So in some countries like this, this is Slovakia, you can use the first one, two or three letters to identify the region of a country you are in. So here we have the ZA. So we have SK for Slovakia, but the ZA is the important thing here. So let's go into Slovakia. Now what could um, ZA be? We want to look for a city that begins with Z. So we have Zvolen here, we have Zlina here. Um, we don't have an A in Zvolen, so I think um, Zlina is more likely. This tip often identifies not just the city, but maybe a region around it. So it could be a um, it could be a small small village near Zlina or, or something like that. It um, depends on the country how big the region is. So um, this should be around Zlina. So let's guess. So here is a map of countries that this should work in blue. So we have um, Germany, um, Switzerland, Austria, Slovakia. Slovenia, Croatia, Montenegro, Serbia, North Macedonia, Romania, and Bulgaria is in purple because Bulgaria uses the uh, Cyrillic alphabet, so sometimes the the codes can be a bit weird. Uh, you have the CC, which is Cyrillic for, for S, which is a Silistra region. You have um, you actually have PB, which is Plovdiv, which is a mixture of the uh, Latin P and the Cyrillic V, so... Bulgaria can be a bit weird. Uh, you have uh, like LJ for Ljubljana, ZG for Zagreb. Sometimes it doesn't quite match, so you have HH is Hamburg, which is a bit weird. Um, and also bear in mind that cars do travel, so it might just be a car travelling, so it's not 100% accurate, but it can it can be useful and it can get you um, very close to the uh, region you are in in some cases. On to the final five tips. 
So the sixth tip I have for you is this particular kind of vegetation. You often see in the north west corner of Peru. You have these very specific uni unique looking trees everywhere. You can see all along the hills. And this kind of landscape, this dry landscape with these trees, you often see in northwestern Peru. Often around, I'd say, roughly this area around Piura and Tumbes. Uh, you don't tend to see, this area can be very dry, but I don't think you see these, these kind of trees so much in the south of Peru. So, um, yeah, it can be a, a very nice way to get a very specific area of Peru with a very good score. So, next round. So the te seventh tip I have for you is about a region of Indonesia called West Sumatra. Now, um, West Sumatra is home to a people group called the Minangkabau, and they build this very specific kind of architecture. So you have these very cool looking kind of pointy roofs everywhere. Um, so if you see these very cool pointy roofs, very big buildings, you can see over here as well. In the mostly in the cities, um, you could be in the province of West Sumatra. So, um, one thing I want to mention is you can have some kind of similar architecture in North Sumatra as well, but it's a little bit different. So I'll show you a example of that now. So this is a town in North Sumatra. Again, you have the uh, pointy roofs here, um, but it looks a little bit different. Um, maybe the point isn't quite as sharp, um, and you have this very intricate kind of design on the uh, on the frames of the roof so this very cool artistic uh, intricate designs it might be more kind of north Sumatra this is indeed west Sumatra yep and on to the next round so this is the eighth tip I have for you and that is about Poland so in and around Poland you often see these very square looking kind of blocky houses so you can see no no triangular roof, just square, um, very, very unique looking. So this kind of style you see in Poland and also I'd say very common in Slovakia, um, kind of common in the Czech Republic and Lithuania as well. Um, so, so if you see this style, you could be in or around Poland, maybe not so much Ukraine or Germany, but I guess Poland. On to the next tip. Tip number nine is about France and in France you often have these very short signs, so you have this sign with a cross, it's very common in rural areas of France. It can be very useful when you're in like, if you're doing country streaks or some kind of no move challenge and you have very very few clues, but if you spot one of these signs, maybe even the back of the sign, um, you might be in France if it is very very short, you know, mostly you'd see very, the triangle would be higher up here maybe. There might be other variations of this sign, um, maybe a stop sign or a upside down triangle, but um, if you see short signs in a rural area, maybe you're in France. Okay, on to the final tip of this video, um, and this tip is about Bolivia, and in the kind of jungly area of Bolivia, probably around Santa Cruz where you have most of the coverage, uh, you often see this kind of um, tiled road with hexagonal tiles, so this style of road you see everywhere in Santa Cruz, you have the name here, um, but you also see in neighbouring towns, I think like Montero, Juanes maybe, the coverage in Bolivia is fairly limited, but in the kind of tropical, um, not the dry areas, but the tropical areas of, of Bolivia, mostly around Santa Cruz, you might see this kind of um, tiled road, so um, should be Santa Cruz here. So that is it for this video. I hope these tips will come in useful for you and secure you a good game. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any sneaky tips that you know. But yeah, if you don't know, I do a lot of uh, play along videos where I post a link and then a few days later I play the challenge and I try to give a lot of tips as I am playing the game. So if that's your kind of thing, then feel free to join these uh, challenges and if you enjoyed this uh, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i hope you have a good morning afternoon evening or night and i'll see you next time bye bye